Hi, Hector Strada from Aztec Athletics, and in today's video, running tip. Best advice for your running training. Well, that sums it up. This is the absolute best advice that will help you to solve any kind of running issue that you have. Are you ready? Let's jump into it. Oh baby, I'm excited to talk to you about today's tip. Mmm, what could it be? This sounds pretty exciting. Well, hold on a second. Before, let me give a brief little introduction into this topic by starting off with a couple of issues that you might be facing with your running. You might be having these issues repeatedly where you just are stuck at a personal best. You might be getting a repeated injury over and over again, or you're just tired of running and running and running. You're stuck and you just don't know what to do. Well, here's the tip that I'm going to give you for today. Are you ready? I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, 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 here it is. Cycle your running training. Huh? What does that mean? So let's talk about this. Maybe you are training every six, 8, 10, 12, 16 weeks to get ready for your competition, whether it's a 5K, 10K, half marathon, marathon, or beyond. You finish your training and you run it. Great success. You're super excited, so what do you do? You sign up for another competition and then another one and you're just so excited, you're knocking them out one after the other. Boom, 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 boom. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. But then you get to the point where, oh, it's too much. Why? Why so many? Oh, my back. <laughs> All right, maybe that's a little bit of a dramatic representation, but this is what will typically happen. You are excited and you do too many competition runs and you're just training way too much. You're just running, 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 running. Eventually, you're going to get worn down, either physically, which will limit you from getting a personal best, or it'll give you some kind of uh, injury or mentally where you just don't want to do it anymore. And this is exactly the reason why you want to implement cycles into your training. Think about it like this. Let's imagine the life of a professional athlete. That's right, you're about to be an all-star, yeah, yeah. Now any athlete that you look at, whether it's in basketball, football, they will have a certain period of training for their season and then after is they'll actually have their actual season where they're competing and then they'll have a period of rest. Sometimes during that period of rest, they'll do nothing. Yeah, man, this is the life. And then they'll have a time where they're doing the strength training. Yeah, getting my air weights on, all right. The point is they'll cycle their year so that they have certain times where they're going all out during their season. They'll have a period of training to build up their body, to get to that peak, and then they'll have a time where they're resting. And you, my friend, are also an athlete, specifically a running athlete. So it only makes sense that you also should cycle your training. Think about this as well. Running is a very repetitive motion. You're basically doing the same thing over and over again. You're running 12 out of 12 months and you're not allowing your body to get stronger or to rest up in order for you to be able to push past that plateau to get to the next running peak or to let it recover so that you don't develop any kind of injuries such as plantar fasciitis in your feet or shin splints in your lower leg or any other running injury that you may develop. And again, this change up in your running schedule, running routine will help you so that your mind is relaxed, recuperated and ready to go for the next hard training season. So. As an example, I live in Michigan, so I live in a region where we have a winter, a rough winter where there's a lot of snow on the ground. Not to mention it's cold out and you really don't wanna go outside. So let's assume November through February, so that's four months, you're assuming a little bit more of a strength training oriented regimen. Then March through June, which is around the springtime, early summer, 
you're more focused on your actual mileage for your competitions so that July through October, you're in your race competition season where you're knocking out all of your half marathons, marathons, 5Ks, 10Ks, or whichever distance that you signed up to compete in. And that's how you're able to stay fresh and run strong throughout your entire running year. Now, this is not to say that during your strength training season, you're not running whatsoever. You're merely increasing the amount of time that you spend strength training and decreasing the amount of time that you're running. Whereas during the season where you're actually training for your competitions, you're going to be running more and just doing minimal strength training just to maintain your core strength, to maintain your overall strength. And during race season, well, just get out there and push yourself to have a great run. This is the time where you're doing literally maintenance runs and maintenance strength training. And that's a great way to format your entire year so that year after year, you're breaking personal bests and avoiding any kind of running injuries. Not to mention you're feeling fresh and ready to go year after year. This way, you won't feel as stressed out every year once you go into your new running season. Let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are and if you'd like me to make more videos to elaborate on this topic or specifically how to structure your year a little bit more in detail. To my fellow subscribers that have been here with me on this amazing journey, thank you. And for my new viewers, feel free to hit that subscribe button -cha, over there so that you can get more great weekly tips to help you with your running journey. As always, Nagarachan, and keep on running. Grant me the strength to make another amazing video. Ooh, huh. How am I gonna talk about all this stuff? Peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly time.